Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 3 of Supernatural entitled Dead in the Water. So, what do I think this episode is about? Let's see. Some type of ghost or monster that lives in the water. So this might be some type of Jaws inspired episode. Loch Ness monster inspired episode. Or maybe it came from the swamp type episode. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, last week was a really good episode. I enjoyed that episode a lot. It was called Wendigo or Wind Wendigo. I can't remember what it was called, but w Wendigo or Wendigo, um, about the cannibal humans that uh, turn into monsters because of cannibalism, yada yada. And um, that was a really good episode. They had a lot of suspense, a lot of tension. Ah. Right. See, I am not a fan of swimming in deep water. Not a fan of it. Unless I'm in the swimming pool, I don't swim in like... I'm not going to jump in the ocean and just go swimming. And I can't see anything? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it in the lake either. Nope. Especially in Louisiana, you can't. We have alligators here. So, we have alligators and water moccasin, moccasins and they will kill you swimming. So you can't swim in the lakes and stuff here in Louisiana. Not in the deep water, at least. <clears throat> Is that it? What about your father? Can we talk to him? Look, if you don't mind, I mean, he didn't see anything, and he's kind of been through a lot. We understand. Now, I'm sorry, but why does the Wildlife Service care about an accidental drowning? Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's accidental? Will Carlton saw something grab his sister. Like what? There are, here, sit, please. There are no indigenous carnivores in that lake. Sorry, I'm not What? I can come back later. She's on this! <laughs> I love Amy Aker. <clears throat> I didn't know she was going to be on this. Yay! Because <laughs> you know I love Angel. And she's on Angel. Gentlemen, this is my daughter. Pleasure to meet you. Indeed. Andrea Barr. Hi. Hi. They're from the Wildlife Service. I bumped Chris drowned two hours before the kid got rescued. Lucas hasn't said a word. Not even to me. Not since his dad's accident. And we heard. Thanks. Thanks, Lucas. Isn't that that house that that girl lived in? The one who died at the beginning? Just gonna watch. safe to say we can rule out Nessie. What do you mean? I just drove past the Carlton house. There was an ambulance there. Will Carlton is dead. 
He drowned. Uh. Yep. In the sink. I think the poor guy's been through hell. I also think he's not telling us something. So now what? What is it? Huh. Well, maybe Bill's not the only one who knows something. What'd I tell you? God, I'm smart. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a good idea. I just need hair. I brought you dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't really have the time. I heard about Bill Carlton. Is it true? Is something going on at the lake? Right now, we don't know what the truth is. But I think it might be better if you and Lucas went on home. Lucas, hey, what is it? Lucas. Lucas, it's okay. It's okay. Psychic child with a little bit of a cliche. She bathes in the dark. Who bathes in the dark? Convenient psychic child that knows everything. Bit convenient. You and Lucas, get back to the house and stay there, okay? Lock the door and wait for me. Don't come out. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You and Bill killed Peter Sweeney 35 years ago. That's what the hell we're talking about. Dad! And now you got one seriously pissed off spirit. It's gonna take Andrea, Lucas. Everyone you love. It's gonna drown them, and it's gonna drag their bodies God knows where, so you can feel the same pain Peter's mom felt. And then, after- Lucas! The body's there. Look! Lucas! They're not gonna kill a little kid. There we go. We're not gonna save everybody. I know. Sam! Dean! Oh. Hey. We're glad Tried we to trick you. us. We just, um, we made you lunch. That's right. Bye-bye. Take care of your mom, okay? Okay, guys. That was Season 1, Episode 3 of Supernatural. Huh, that was a... Okay, so it was very... It was a Monster of the Week episode, which I'm okay with. Um... Despite it being a little bit slow and the and the and the little boy kind of being a very convenient answer to everything, I still very much enjoyed that episode. The mystery of it, I enjoyed it. I mean, there was mystery, there was intrigue, there was some suspense. The opening teaser was a little bit lackluster. 
And I would say that it definitely was not as good of an episode as last week. But it still kept my interest. But something about the way they revealed the clues to me kind of bugged me. I don't know how. It's like the, the clues are revealed very conveniently. Like, okay, here's a picture. Go see this woman at this house. Okay, this woman, her son died years ago. Like, it's just very... They don't have to work very hard to get the clues. They're kind of just handed the clues, it seems like, a lot of times. Um, which, you know, mystery writing is very difficult. Especially, It's especially difficult to keep it fresh. But overall, despite that, you know, I still enjoy the episode. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half, I'm going to give it. Wait, what did I give last week? A nine? We'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. Seven and a half. Seven and a half or an eight. I can't really decide. I feel like my... I don't want you guys to think that I'm, you know, super easy on the rating system. Because I'm usually the guy... I'm like the Simon the Cowell of the group. Like, I'm the one who usually points out all the flaws... And grades very harshly, but I enjoyed that episode, so I'm going to give it an 8. I found it enjoyable. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and press that bell button so you can get notified when I put up new videos. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next week. Ciao.